Oof. It's an emotional day today. I speak to you today on behalf of my sister Deborah and our family, our mother, brothers, sister, nieces, nephews, and extended family. We come from a large, tight-knit family. Sorry, I'm a bit of a puddle today, sorry. We come, we come from a large, tight-knit family. We are spread all over the country now. We have all waited over 19 years for this news. 19 years of graduations, weddings, new babies, and family milestones that Deborah has missed. We miss Deborah every day. We never gave up hope. Deborah was an extraordinary and special person with a loyalty and love for her family beyond measure. A smart woman. We like to brag that she actually passed the Massachusetts bar exam on her first try. She exemplified grace and kindness. She was an incredible role model to her nieces and nephews whose lives she moved and touched so much that I can see pieces of her in all of you. She would be overflowing with pride of the men and women they have become. Her move to Sarasota was a huge decision for a lifelong Massachusetts girl, but she fell in love with the beach, found the house of her dreams, and called it paradise. On March 29th, 1999, this evil person turned her paradise into a nightmare. As a family, we have dreamed of the day we would get the news that they had caught her killer. We now have a face and name for this monster. Together as a family, we will see this through to the end to make sure that justice will be served. I asked my mother, if there was anything she would like to say, and she said yes. We say for 20 years he has been able to see the sun, breathe the air, smell flowers. May today be the last day. And by the way, happy birthday, Deborah. Friday is her birthday. We love you. the Sarasota Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Knight, Major Richard, Captain Walsh, Lieutenant Kasky, who I don't think is here today, Detective Lubrano, retired Sergeant Pingle, and the many employees who have worked on this case. We can never thank you enough. Your endless hours of investigation the years of, ma of maintaining a relationship with the Dalzell family, your incredible passion and loyalty shown to Deborah in never giving up and keeping Deborah a priority. Our hearts are filled with gratitude. We are forever grateful. Thank you. I just want to <clears throat> thank a couple people, then I know the media wants to ask some questions. Um, specifically Peggy, don't, don't worry about Peggy, um, thank you for your candor and thank you for being here. I think it's important for us as an office, before you ask questions of Peggy, that we need to recognize some uh, people that helped us. The FBI, of course, helped us, Parabon Nano Labs, DNA Labs International, and Genetic Genealogy Consultants have all participated in the help to the detectives of the Sheriff's Office. And uh, for me, uh, the men and women here, thank you. This is what it's all about, is resolution. And uh, you guys have some questions of Peggy? She's here to answer a few questions. State your name and organization, if you will. No? Go ahead. Peggy, here. John Rogers, News Channel 8. You had a chance to confront. What would you say? I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, we're still processing this development, although we've dreamed about it. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm just not sure. 
um, Samantha Sonner, SNN. You know, you say that you had always dreamed of this. Uh, it's been 20 years. Have you started to give up hope that this day would ever come? Uh, there, there are always moments, um, but we have such a, a wonderful support system here within the sheriff's office, as well as a very large family that just kept us moving forward. Can relate to what Fox 13. There's so many other cases, not just in Sarasota County, that could one day rely on this. What do you have to say to those families that may be going through the same thing? Absolutely. Great question. question. Um, and that's basically how I, how we continue to, to keep hope. And my message would be persevere, don't lose hope, keep going. Jeff Daubert, ABC7. Peggy, did your sister or your family know the Fleming family? No. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.